I'm Kendall Bhutan and I'm from Office of Saskatchewan and I attend the AME program in Saskatoon and this is our Bell UH-18. It's got a Lycoming T53 turbo shaft engine. This is our avionics bay, engine bay, cargo door, bladder tanks, one on each side. This is your collective your cyclic control, gauges. Hi, my name is Tyson Phillip. Uh, I'm at the Saskatoon Aviation Learning Center here in Saskatoon. This is the nose of the UH-1H. In the nose we have our battery and we also have wiring for our instruments for different readings of the engine parameters. We have our joystick. We have our collective that controls the uh, pitch of the rotor blade. The helicopter is utilized with a push-pull rod system, as you can see here. Hi, my name is Jeff e. This is the main rotor head assembly on the UH-1H. Power is, comes from the turbine engine through your transmission up 90 degrees to your rotor head. The pilot inputs control the pitch of the blades. Also, the direction of the swash plate. Movement up and down is controlled by the pitch of the blades through the collective. The stick in the middle of the pilot controls these three control arms, which controls your swash plate. Forward movement and side to side movement is accomplished by moving the cyclic control. The blades are twisting through these pitch horns. They're transmitted through this push bar up to your fly bar, down across these pitch horns. And that controls the angle of your blades, which makes your helicopter move up or down. The tip of the blades are near the speed of sound, which is close to 500 miles per hour. The back tail rotor turns three times to every one rotation of the main rotor blade. 